However, when I'm going to share another story on our Christmas theme, and it's called Twas the Night Before Christmas. That's always a very exciting time. It's by Clement Seymour, and it's illustrated by Mark Marshall. So Twas the Night Before Christmas. Oh, isn't that a beautiful scene? Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not even a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. We children were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of sugar plums danced in our heads. And mama in her kerchief and dad in his cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up a sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below when what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher and Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head with a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laugh when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his high and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. 
I hope you enjoy. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. It's Christmas Eve and the entire house is sleeping, all except one little boy, woken by the jingle of bells and the clatter of reindeer hooves on the roof. And as he tiptoes downstairs, who will he find? We just share the magic of the season with this beloved Christmas poem. I hope you enjoyed Twas the Night Before Christmas. See you next time.